Hey friends, welcome to the channel. It has been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I have some new systems and ways I work on Squarespace that I wanna teach you today. Uh, and this is if you are building a brand new website, whether you're a designer or you're just building one website for yourself to first website project, this is the exact process I use to get a site up quickly and make it beautiful. Over the last 12 months or so, there's a lot of new features that really make a build a different process than what I've used to or what I've done over the last few years. Even the majority of my websites were built on 7.0 and that whole system is, is dead. All the videos I made for that are gone. We have this new process where we have a lot more we could work with and a lot more we can build that I'm gonna show you now. So the first step is this. You don't wanna repeat work you've already done or work you're gonna do on every single project. So I create this template that is like for me, the master template. I don't buy any Squarespace templates. Just this one is the one I use on all my projects as I start. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go here, click the three dots and duplicate it. Once I do that, I open up the template, you'll see it load here, and then I'll just name the design. So this is my brand new website, I'll hit save, and then I'll close this because it's just some informational things. From here, you can see everything I have pre-built and already defined. First, there's a design page which shows you everything you'll need for the site in terms of like the design, the sections, how you could brand everything. These are all the settings that you'll need to adjust when you're designing and the site styles. So I'll just use this, boom. At the bottom, I have seven pre-built footers. So depending on the size of the website, right? So if it's a bigger site, I might use something like this. If it's a smaller site, I might use something like this. And then all the fonts and everything are here so you can see how they all relate to each other in size. From there, we actually have these wireframe pages and I'm really not trying to sell you on this. This is just me walking through what's on this as I begin. So you have this like, uh, here's like an image. It looks like it's taking a second to load. Another image, shop, and then men's, and I believe it says women's here. So it's like one design. But you have all these different header designs that you can use that are already pre-built. Uh, and so the first step, easy, duplicate the template, and I'm already like 80% of the way there. Then from there, I'll go into the site styles right here and then work on a few key elements. So from fonts, colors, buttons, I'll design all of that because you want that finalized before you start making tweaks and saving sections and all of that, which I'll show you next. So step two is site styles. In here, let's just go in. I'm going to go into the headings and I'm going to grab a heading I really like. And I know Squarespace uses it everywhere, but Poppins is a great font. Um, and it's a great style. Actually, let me click out of this and go back to my design page. That's where I wanna be when I'm working on this. So funny, I, I didn't notice that. But here we go. So site styles, boom. Uh, let me find Poppins. Perfect, here we go. Now, Poppins default is cool, but I do like some certain things. For headings, I always wanna do semi-bold, which is the 600, and then I also want to play with the letter spacing just a bit. Negative 0.03 EM to 0.04 is a really nice feel, 0.05 a little too much, 0.2, 0.02 could be great as well, but I'm gonna stick with right here, I'm gonna stick with this. It's a little bit more of a, of a nicer feel, the 0.04. Then I could play with the font sizes here. I'm gonna leave them as is. You can see all of this is here. So then I could come in and then make these a little bit bigger and adjust it accordingly, make it a little smaller, whatever I need. Boom, that's good to go. Same thing for paragraphs here. This is 300, not sure why. Regular text should be 400, that's more ideal. Uh, line spacing is a little tall. I'll take it to 1.3 uh, and then paragraph is good. Paragraph two is one. Key point, if you've never done this before, everything should be based around paragraph two. So paragraph two should not change. It should always be one rem. Now, if you wanna actually make it bigger, the way you'll do that is you'll change the base font size here. So if you change this, it changes everything accordingly and you wanna keep paragraph two, which is your body font, set to one rem, that should be equal, which basically means it's 18 pixels, okay? Pro tip right there, boom. All right, so we're going through these design settings. We, we got the fonts down, we got the colors, then we'll do buttons. If you wanna do fields, you can do that. With colors, this is what I recommend, keep it super simple, focus in here on the top three colors that you need around your black and the white, 
And then from there, uh, this could, and let me say one more thing. This could be your accent color, or this could end up being your accent color. So if you have a main brand color and it's like red, this could be the red, or this could be the red. This is like for a light background here that like would work good in this case or this case. Um, so you can see there, I can make it a little bit lighter. It's a little bit nicer. Um, and then down here, there's this. The reality is this. Out of these 10 sections, you're probably going to use four of them. You don't need all 10 of them to be to look good. For example, th this is obviously hideous. Uh, <laughs> um, this never would use it. It's just way too like edgy. The black with the, the this like accent blue um, is not the vibe. So there's a few of these I just never end up using and maybe I could design it later, but I don't really need it. I only need like four key sections. One of the, the things I often end up doing is this light two and this light one. Um, I may play with the font colors here. So light two, uh, let me go up here so you see it. This is light two. I would change all the heading colors to black then what I would do, so they basically match. So light one and light two match. And then for light one, instead of having it as a background section that's like this light blue, I would actually change it to like a gray. So let me show you this. Um, boom, yeah, honestly, that's great. Uh, again, I would have a color palette to work with, but here we go. This is me just showing you generally how I think about this as I go through it. So now I have like five key sections, which is light one, lightest one, light one, then light two, uh, maybe, I might use bright, maybe, uh, bright three, maybe, this one for sure, uh, and then maybe black. But those like key sections are more than enough. You don't need all of them to look perfect, all of that. Buttons, you could come in here and design them. I always recommend designing the first button and then do apply to all button types, boom, and then you could adjust it accordingly really easy to do, but then that site styles, you're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna exit here. Now, typically that honestly is probably a 25 minute process for me. I remember when I first started designing websites, that process would take hours. I would encourage you try to keep it as quick as possible. Don't overthink it because you could get stuck in perfection. Build out the site now, take next steps, but that is your starting point and you got a lot to work with. From there, let's get into this next aspect, which is with two key features that I absolutely love, which is save sections and fluid engine. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the wireframes page here. I'm gonna click edit. And then from here, I am going to start playing with sections that I wanna save and use for the website. So for example, uh, let's say I really like this section. Well, now I could start to adjust it. So all the spacing is dialed. This is why we design the buttons and everything first because the way you design the fonts and the buttons will dictate how the page looks and feels. This one probably, oh yeah, could go up a little bit more. Boom, and then we'll do this. Few pro tips. Number one, I always try to hug the sections so that, let me hit G on my keyboard. Uh, I always try to hug the sections so that it's, there's not like this extra space. I only use that in one case, which is if it's like a full section, a fill section. Let me show you what I'm talking about in a sec. This is like a deep dive if you've never done this before. So first thing is I try to fill it. Second thing is I don't let them overlap. Even if, if this section like right here is fine, it's like, oh, it looks great. But actually it's like overlapping. You want the blue lines to not overlap in most cases, unless you're intentionally making it overlap. Um, if you do do that, if you make the screen really small, it will have the text over the other text and look very unprofessional. So just consider that as you're going. From there, G is a great shortcut. I just showed you that a little bit. You hit G, it shows you the actual grid. Boom, some quick shortcuts, tips that you could use there. But what I'll do is I'll design it the way it should be so that there's no extra spacing. Then I'll go to mobile and make sure that looks good because again, the way you just formatted everything is going to like adjust the spacing a bit. So I'll fix all of that, get it all dialed. In this case, it wasn't a big deal, but sometimes it's like there's huge gaps and weird, weird spacing. From there, I will then hit save on this section. Boom, this is already ready for me to go. I'm good to go. Then from here, same thing, like there's some weird spacing here. I would just adjust this, make sure everything is just dialed perfectly so that the spacing is nice. This is a little big, so I might just make this smaller, squeeze that up, 
and then from here, pull it down. Boom, that's all good. Yep, center, we're good. Same thing again, go into mobile, make sure just all the spacing is dialed and it's formatted the way I want. Can this go up one more? It can, perfect. Literally dialed. If I have a section break, I will leave one to give a little bit of space, just one between it. So this is like a, a section and then this. It's perfect amount of space, I'll move that up. And then again, same thing, I'll hit the heart, boom, save section, and then I'll just do that over and over and over again, build out like 10 different sections. Then from there, I will hit save really quick and then exit. Now I'll start building my pages. So now, this is the exciting part. Now you're starting to build your website and you have a lot that you can work with. First thing I'm gonna do is go to the not link section, click the plus sign, and then hit blank page. And then here I'll type in home. Now, the reason I do this, it's not necessary, but it's a bit of a best practice in my case. Okay, so you could put your main navigation, you could put the home page in there, you could put your about page services, all that. But the way I like to do this is I'll click the plus sign and I'll use drop downs and links for everything in the main navigation and all the pages actually live in the not links section. You do not need to do this if you are starting out, but when you have a site that has tons of pages and content, this process for me has been so easy to manage everything. So the first thing I'll do here is I will, let's just type in about, this is me creating a link and I'll just do forward slash about, hit save. Once I create the about page, that will link up perfectly. But you can see here it's linked or it's up in the navigation, we're good to go. I'll keep doing that. If I wanna add a drop down, let's say this is services, boom, that'll be services. I'll add a page, quote unquote, and then hit link. And then here, here will be consulting. And then this will be consulting. Perfect. The pages don't exist yet, but I already know where I'm going with a client site or a build. I know the key pages I want so I can start building all of that out. Boom, good to go. Now, really quick note that will save you a ton of time. You've been seeing me work on this template. If you go to my Gumroad page, you could find this template for sale here with some other things. This is the Scale Creative Wireframes template. It's $198 if you want to buy that outright and use it on any of your projects. You just duplicate it and you could use it over and over again. Or if you really wanna get the most benefit for a cheaper price, buy the designer starter kit. Starts at $97, you could pay whatever you like, but you get the designer starter kit alongside the template. It does take us 24 hours, up to 24 hours to deliver it because there's no automated way to send it to you. But if you want that, you purchase it for 100 bucks right there, you get the template and you literally just saved yourself 10 hours because you get the template to start with. Okay, now we're back on this page. So we've gone through the process. We started with a template. We designed the site with the site styles. Then we started using Fluid Engine, designing the blocks with save sections to basically give us a, an arsenal to use as we now build the site. From here, I'll go into edit and now I'll start editing the page. I'll hit add section. Now, there looks like there's a lot of quote unquote cool sections here. In my opinion, most of these are not usable or way too obvious that they're Squarespace. Like a section like this doesn't show up a lot on the internet. Um, this kind of does, but I don't know. Some of this stuff is just, just not ideal. Uh, the way it's formatted, it's small, small notes. Like this section here could be really hard to use at scale. Um, this is cool, it can work, but it really depends on your photography. Some of these sections are cool, like this is, I don't know what this is, this just doesn't work. Most of these sections are just like, what is going on here? Like there's just too much happening um, overall. So I just don't use these sections. It's not because I'm too particular, but it's just not really feasible. And some of it, I don't know, it just doesn't really fit the bill. So. I let this be. What I do is I use save sections. So here you saw me create two. I would usually have about eight or 10 here, but then I'd start building. So this is gonna be my header section. It's gonna look really, really nice. So here we put some key information like, uh, let's do consulting, then land your dream clients. This will be uh, heading one, I'll make it a little bit bigger so it could fall on one line and then make this a little bit smaller. 
And then this here is going to be book a call. So I'll come in here, book a call, boom. And now I'm just starting to design. I'm going to show you one or two sections so you get a feel for it. But this is me literally building out the site. Then here I pull out an image. So I'll do replace. I'll do select from library. Um, I know I'm going really fast right now, but then I'll go to free images and then I'll come in here and choose an image if I need it, if I don't already have one. So um, here I'm just going to select this one, hit add image, and then we could work with that. Let's say we don't like this little key shape. Uh, it's just a cool, interesting design, but let's just say we don't like that here. You could do fill. That can be a great one. And then you could put some border radius here. Let me see what 14 looks like. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, boom, add that in and I'm good to go. So now I'm starting to design a site and a feel. Let me actually just do a photo that might make more sense here. Browse stock. Okay, so I'm playing with some stuff here, but basically we get a section built out like this, really easy, quick to work with. Then from there, I'll do another section and then we would come in here and then build this out. Um, I don't wanna use the background image on this. So usually I have a section that I don't have this already, but I'm just gonna go like that and then go to colors, boom, lightest, and then start building here. So here I don't necessarily need two text blocks. I can just have one. And then here I'll move it to a smaller size. Boom, okay, I'll paste in some lorem ipsum. This text will go here. This would be some major text about us. Uh, if I want, I could also do about, or let's do about us. Boom, bold. So something like that, boom. And again, just playing with it, getting it up and running quickly. Here, this will be a learn more button and so on and so forth. So you see how easy it is to design sections now. And then from there, once I build everything out, especially if I have a section I love and I'm like already sold on it, I'll double check the mobile. But again, like with what we did before, we should be good to go. So this one, I just need a little bit more spacing so that words fit there. Boom, do that, do this, move this up, cool. And then move that up, solid, set to go. Same thing here that's set to go. Now from here, I can go into other aspects of the website, whether it's designing the footer. So here again, I have these seven footers. So I'll choose the one that I think works. I'll just remove the ones I don't think that work. And you're off to the races. Using all of Squarespace's best features, being able to create pages, all of that, really easy. As I go through this design process, kind of some last minute tips. Now, as I go through this design process, if I build some sections I really love, as you see, I'm doing some tweaks to it. Maybe I add a shape to this section here and I, I love it more because it has a shape as a background element. Awesome. What I'll end up doing at that point is this. I'll then save the new design of the section, delete the old one, and then use it on subsequent pages. I used to be very meticulous where I would create a page exactly as I want it and then go to the settings wheel and then duplicate it. You can do that, but with save sections, it's pretty easy to recreate a page fairly fast. So I'll go through the process of really honing in on Fluid Engine, desktop, mobile, and save sections to build out a page. And honestly, in about four hours, you can get a lot of content on a site really quickly, make it super user-friendly and easy to navigate. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you have any other questions about Squarespace, I have over 400 videos on my YouTube channel that you could watch. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.